A 35-year-old female is interested in becoming pregnant, but they're having difficulty and she has a history of multiple miscarriages at around five months. Upon examination, you notice that she has a uterus that is not properly positioned. You explain that the maintenance of the uterus in its proper position can be important for both conception and the ability to carry pregnancy to term without complication. What is the more common position of the cervix in relation to the vagina and the body of the uterus in relationship to the cervix? Hopefully you'll remember that it was antiverted and antiflexed. Here we can see the uterus positioning. Now the uterus is not tethered in a solid position. It will move depending on uh, several scenarios such as the fullness of the bladder. However, it does have a fairly usual position being antiverted and antiflexed. The antiversion is in reference to the cervix, which is going to be in the front half of an axis that goes through the cervix and through the vagina. And the antiflexed is going to be the body flexing over and towards the bladder. The interesting portion of this is that if you have a retroflexed uh, cervix, pregnancy can be difficult. Um, if you have a retroverted uterus, there's too much pressure from the developing fetus in around the six and seven month periods, uh, which can cause premature softening of the cervix and spontaneous abortion. A 50-year-old woman is brought to the emergency department because of severe upper abdominal pain for 24 hours. She has a two-day history of intermittent fever and pale stools. Her temperature is 38.9 degrees Celsius, 102 Fahrenheit. Pulse is 120, respirations are 20 per minute, and blood pressure is 90 over 50 millimeters of mercury. Physical examination shows jaundice and tenderness of the right upper quadrant of the abdomen over the costal margin. Serum studies show a bilirubin concentration of 5 mg per deciliter, alkaline phosphatase activity of 450 uh, per liter, and lipase activity of 400 units per liter. Which of the following is most likely the cause of this patient's symptoms? This should immediately get you thinking of referred pain. Also, the regionalization in the right upper quadrant over the costal margin. And this could be something from obstruction of the gallbladder or a stone. Since they have problems with both bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase, and lipase activity, um, this is more likely to be a blockage at the hepatopancreatic ampulla.